Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week. There was a lot of opportunities and it seems that it's gonna continue even more for the upcoming week. So while I wrote the interim disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys. As usual we're gonna start with the Dixie that had a, a major drop last week and uh, we are on the daily time frame. We could also go to the weekly time frame to see what happened uh, last week. So we ended up with a very strong bearish engulfing candle closing below the monthly S2 and it's about to test it uh, 200 moving average on the weekly time frame. So the break of this uh, trend line here is a, um, a really uh, strong uh, signal that the bears may uh, take over control on this market. So if we go down to the daily time frame, as you see here, this uh, trend line now is uh, broken. I mentioned this trade trend line in my last week's overview, if you watch that. And we broke also the 200 uh, daily moving average on um, on this chart. So what I'm expecting here after this impulse correction to 618 and the monthly pivot point where I actually told you guys that you should be watching that level for possible reversal. We've got a three days uh, drop, very strong and bearish days. And um, there is a um, possible scenario here that we make this um, A, B, C, completion down here around the 1.27 Fibonacci extension where we also have the 95.75 um, level which is also a previous possible uh, support level below that the main um, objective should be the extension to 1.618 and the 95.15 which is really a key level looking left we had this level acting as strong resistance here we pushed strongly to the downside when we tested that and then it was acting support uh, resistance again to then act support here at this level so we have a pretty interesting scenario on the dollar and as i said last week i am expecting dollar weakness and it seems to be started and it may continue now if the market keep holding below the 200 daily moving average we should expect continuation on the four hour time frame it looks like this we see more structure here and as you see we broke previous low we broke this uh, key structure level and the market objective again is uh, possibly to reach uh, this low down here as first uh, level of interest so uh, this market may keep pushing lower and when this uh, a b c d completion down here we uh, probably could look for some kind of retracement before the next leg to the downside yeah so keep an eye on this level here if you short the dollar you should be uh, targeting this level as your first area of interest before a possible uh, correction back up maybe toward this neckline and then the continuation to the downside yeah uh, we still do not have a real low to uh, start the I mean, if we uh, this market had started already to correct here, we could draw a Fibonacci retracement here and uh, start looking at the possible level that we may see as a confluence. But we still do not have a higher low to measure yet. The market did not um, move anything to the upside. As you see, we closed at the low of the day and the week. So uh, yeah, that was it for the dollar. Uh, for oil, we had this reversal and I've been mentioning this possible area guys as a possible uh, interested, interesting level for the bulls to defend uh, because it's been acting as good support and resistance previously. As you see, we had here resistance, 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 support here, resistance again to then act support many times here as well so the level was a clear area of uh, interest for the bulls they did uh, defend this level with a double bottom 
and broke the neckline now for a possible continuation toward this area here this is the level of interest we are looking at on uh, oil a daily time frame we have the 200 moving average is also coming uh, from above here so there is some more room to the upside here when we reach uh, the uh, 60 area we should start uh, be uh, a bit cautious because there is a possibility for reversal from that level if we take a fibonacci retracement move for this whole leg here we see that uh, we have um, the 618 is around the monthly r1 and this previous neckline so this area here is a possible level of interest for the beers to defend so keep an eye on this kill zone if you get any bearish evidence at that level there is a possibility for a continuation back down from that area gold very strong uh, break now if we look at the monthly chart uh, we see that we broke a key structure level here on the monthly as you see we uh, trading above uh, all the previous highs here on this area and uh, this opened the doors for uh, much more upside continuation on this market because if the month uh, close above this level there is a possibility that we keep pushing higher maybe toward the uh, 1550 or even higher than that but the month is still not closed yet what we have so far is a weekly close above these uh, previous highs so if we fix this uh, structure level here you see that the weekly did close above this uh, very important level uh, we never broke above this level for a very very long time and uh, now there is a possibility for that continuation to the upside especially that we are talking about a weekly break so if we go down to the daily you see that the move is very very extended the rsi is at the extreme overbought once again and it is now time to start looking for some kind of uh, retracement or correction on this market yeah so what i've been looking for on gold first level of course the broken structure here around the uh, 1367 is a possible level of uh, interest for the bulls to defend or even uh, deeper down toward this uh, this high here and this structure up here is still a possible level the 1350 area is also a possible level of interest but again as first keep your eyes down here at this level this is possibly the first level that the bulls may start defending in any case gold now after breaking this uh, major structure level we are talking about uh, keep buying the uh, keep buying the dips on gold um, any kind of uh, corrections something like this going sideways slowly that could be very interesting for us to to trade the break to the upside euro usd now gold seems to be the leader and that broke a major level and uh, EURUSD may also continue to the upside after breaking um, above its 200 moving average as well. So as you see, the 200 moving average on the daily is broken. We broke also above this previous uh, structure high here is now taken out as well. So uh, for me, there is not much uh, of uh, resistance looking left until we reach uh, the um, 1.1450 area once again where we had the previous uh, struggle on this market yeah so uh, daily time frame what we have so far is our initial high initial higher low and we are about to make another higher high i think the market objective from here now is to reach this uh, level up uh, around the 1.1450 to then maybe start looking for another correction another higher low and probably a continuation yeah so keep following this ongoing trend right now we have uh, a major higher low down here we broke a major uh, high here as well and we broke the 200 moving average so keep buying the dips for our time frame it looks um, like this we just broke the monthly r2 on uh, EURUSD and uh, it is a pretty extended leg so even here we should be watching for some kind of corrections back down 
I would say 1.13 could be a interesting level to start looking for that continuation uh, from. Okay. Sterling also pushing higher. Seems like we have a possible build up here for uh, a possible breakout. This is the four hour time frame, but if we go to the daily, we see um, that after breaking below this previous low pushed higher all the way now this market gonna have some troubles at previous highs here so what we're looking for on the sterling is uh, we want to see a strong break above this level then that we do hold the level as well it's very important because sometimes you have something like this and then the market start moving back down again so very important guys that you uh, if you want to trade this for a continuation a daily uh, break and close above this level to then go down to lower time frame and start looking for those correction back down for the continuation to the upside as for now you you need to see this as possible resistance and that uh, the market could still make something like this a push higher toward this level before it start dropping back down again and maybe start consolidating but for more upside once again a break above this is important and that we hold above it to then look for that continuation to the upside usd jappy i mentioned to you guys that this looks like a bearish flag on the daily time frame and that there is a possibility for a break to the downside despite the move up on the stock market uh, this um, pair did break to the downside which is actually opposite what it should be doing since the stock market uh, did break as uh, S&P did uh, move to the uh, new all-time high to then push lower of course this market been uh, trading to the downside so if we take a look at the S&P 500 now we um, last week we just tagged the all-time high and this is a little bit worrying because when this done this whole move to the upside uh, usd uh, jappy was not breaking uh, to the upside it was actually breaking to the downside so this may be a, a leading indicator that this move on the stock market may be just a, a fake uh, retest of the highs and we may have a reversal in any case the uh, break below this structure here showing us uh, that this market is uh, maybe to continue to the downside and we should be looking for retracement and continuation for now there is nothing else uh, to look at here because the trend is still bearish we still have lower lows and lower highs on the daily time frame so uh, i'm expecting uh, this market to uh, keep pushing lower from here so on the four hour time frame the structure we are looking at is this so any continuation of this correction toward this level to look for a possible sell of another flag something like this if that is the case we get another flag like this one here then we will try to uh, sell the break uh, out of that so bearish on daily bearish on four hour time frame and there is a possibility for a continuation back down toward these levels down here i think if we put on the daily time frame i'm talking about a retest of uh, this level or a fill of this uh, whole uh, wick down here is now possible yeah <clears throat> usd chief also very strong push to the downside and those of you who have been following me for a while and those of you who watched the uh, previous weekly overviews you know guys that i told you when we broke this level here to look for a retest and continuation yeah so uh, we've got a, a nice correction back to the upside which gave us 50 percent retracement of this uh this move here um let me oh sorry we had this here it was the 38.2 um, and we had at that same level previous structure we start seeing the market uh, slowing down we had very strong candle here followed by two smaller candle uh, spinning top candles and then the day after we got this very strong signal a bearish engulfing candle here to then start dropping like a waterfall from that area so um, 
my anticipation here is of course a continuation i think the market objective is at least to tag this low down here so if you're holding a short uh, look to take some profit at this level uh, down here on this market uh, for next week if we start the week by having some kind of correction i would start by looking at a possible sell at this level at first because we have the monthly s2 the previously broken structure is at that level so this is the first area that we should be looking for some kind of uh, selling pressure from the higher correction the better of course so if you get even a higher correction toward these levels up here that would be also uh, very interesting to sell but as first since this market seems in uh, strong uh, momentum to the downside we may not get those uh, very big corrections yeah usd cat also same scenario i've been telling you guys after the break of this trend line to look for retracement and continuation we've got a very nice retracement here if we measure this retracement we see that we also had the 50 percent fibonacci retracement followed by an evening star formation and then after that a bearish engulfing candle which is the signal of a reversal at a great structure level 50 percent retracement monthly s1 all the signals was there for this market to continue lower so now we are back below the 200 moving average we reach it the yearly pivot point and starting to make some correction so expect some more correction to then sell that again we're gonna keep selling rallies on this market because there is a very big uh, potential here to the downside i see the market objective uh, could be this level as first and the ultimate level is all the way down here and again we are looking for something like similar to this something similar to that to happen even here one more time so that is the uh, bigger uh, picture and uh, on the lower time frame let me get rid of some of these we have the uh, four hour um, uh, time frame here to see uh, the structure even more so if we man measure this uh, leg here for a fibonacci retracement we see that the 38.2 is uh, the first level we're gonna watch for a possible sell uh, on this market so keep an eye on this we could get a correction back toward this level this is the area to start look at as a first possible level to sell from this level here and the higher the better we know that we have a very wide range now this high and this low here so we have a very wide range to trade inside so it could also reach the 618 without being a bullish market so you could see this market moving all the way to 618 and you could still looking to sell that rally as well again first level monthly s2 38.2 fibonacci retracement this is the area that we're gonna try to short from yeah uh, as a first level aussie usd also a possible reversal on the way but this market here still uh, structure wise we still have lower lows and lower highs so the other one the euro did break above uj did break below usd cad um, did break structure um, sterling was not breaking a major structure yet and aussie usd still not breaking any major structure but on the daily time frame now when this reversal starting from the last line of defense down here this market did test this la last line of defense and uh, if we look below this you see that uh, it is an empty area so i was expecting some kind of defense at this level after tagging this low here and we start having uh, the possible reversal we got the bullish engulfing the first time we touch at this level followed by a continuation to the upside i still think there is a possibility for this market to keep trending toward this previous high uh, 
it is still a bearish uh, market and from here you could expect some kind of reversal but i think if the dixie to keep pushing lower this may keep pushing to the upside there is still room for that now on the four hour time frame as you see we have uh, this possible correction when it ends it may give you a possible continuation to the upside so if this does something like this and break then we should look for continuation toward this high up here you could use the 200 moving average here on the four hour as your filter as soon as we break above that you look for that continuation higher and new zealand usd also there is a possibility for continuation to the upside on this market coming from uh, this support level we've got this uh, double bottom uh, followed by bullish divergence and uh, a nice um, inverted hammer here followed by bullish engulfing candle and the continuation so if we look at the daily time frame there is not much of trouble on the way until we reach this previous high and that is my opinion the possible market objective to reach this high rsi still have some room to the upside here as you see there is not much uh, left but that could give the price the room to tag this uh, previous high now if we go to the uh, to the four hour time frame we see also a clear uh, trending market with higher high higher low another higher high and another higher low uh, here we broke above the monthly pivot point we broke above the 200 moving average here as you see so we had a break above that area the retest and we're looking for that continuation toward this previous high on uh, <coughs> New Zealand US, US dollar. So uh, yeah, continuation, especially if the dollar keep moving to the downside. And um, yeah, that is uh, it for uh, this week, guys. Um, for those of you who want daily uh, videos like this each and every morning, I do that in our uh, trading room so all you need to do is to join us in our trading room right now it is um, 14 days trial for just one dollar and uh, all you need to do is uh, go to my site and uh, join that room and you will get all the benefit uh, we have there daily video briefings daily chart updates fundamental news technically everything you're gonna need to be able to trade the market in a healthy and a good way thanks a lot see you next week bye bye